Now on the APEC VIP hotline, cutting edge training for the serious athlete, apecgo.com. Joining us now, the head football coach at Hughes Springs, Chris Edwards. How you doing, coach? I'm doing great, man. Uh, you are having a heck of a season right now, coming off a 61 nothing win over Lyndon Kildare, and you haven't allowed a point in four ball games in district. Tell me about your team. Uh, well, we had several guys come back from last year. We, we returned eight starters on defense and felt like a bit at the beginning of the season that we would be good or had a chance to be good on defense. Uh, thought we'd have to develop, develop a few guys on offense, but turns out we had some guys step in there and, and, and fill some big shoes and looks like they're wearing a little bit bigger shoes than some of the guys we had as far as <laughs> the way they play. Did you expect to be throwing four shutouts in a row? Well, I don't know. You know, at the risk of sounding too confident or too cocky, I mean, you're always going to a game – preparing for it you know not wanting the other team to score but then it just kind of it's kind of snowballed in the right way for us and, and we're certainly proud of it yeah i can imagine uh, you got any guys on that defense that uh, might we might be seeing playing on saturday someday i uh, could be you know they're not really being recruited real heavy right now i think the big key for us is we we're playing real good team defense we don't have just a, a stellar standout you know we've got four guys on the front line that really get after you uh They've got a little size to them. They're strong, and they can run a little bit, uh, which allows our line, frees our linebackers up to uh, to run the football. Which all of those weigh about you know nobody weighs over 170 pounds. <laughs> uh, how long you been at Hugh Springs now, Coach? This is my 15th year. 15th year. Uh, yes. Is this the best team you've ever had? You think? Uh, as far as team and, and based off of record and how we're playing. I would say so. I don't know about athletically because we had some pretty good athletes come through here. Mm-hmm. Uh, my first year, we had a real athletic class, and it was just the first year trying to get things going, uh, you know, adopting to a new coach and a new system, and, and there were times we just didn't play very well as a group. Uh, but this group is playing really well, and, and, and there's some pretty good athletes too. Yeah, obviously. Now, you got a running back, Michael Martinez, who had a huge game uh, against Lyndon Kildare, had 12 carries for 233 yards. I mean, what, what's his story? Well, obviously, Lennon, Lennon didn't tackle him very well. <laughs> uh, he's what kind a good of running kid. back is he? He's a fullback in our system. Uh, you know, he runs the power, the the traps, and things like that. And we have a couple other plays that we get the football to him. But he just has that knack for making people miss. Uh, generally, always makes the right cut. Uh, able to break, you know, a tackle here, a tackle there, and he's got enough speed, to, you know, take it to the house when he wants to. What kind of offense do you run? We're we're a kind of a multiple slot T. We, we call ourselves a slot T, but we'll get in some other things. Formation-wise, we'll run a little shotgun, uh, all based off of the, the slot T plays and the slot T formation. Is he the primary ball carrier then? Yes, yes. He's our go-to guy. He's, mm. he's our workhorse. Okay. How big a kid is he? He's 5'9", 180 pounds. <laughs> and yet he busted runs for 82, 63, 16, and one yards in that win the other night. Is that yeah. uh, the, the typical uh, performance for him? Well, that, that's what we want it to be. You know, that's our goal all the time. So I hope so. <laughs> I can imagine. Well, you're six and zero now, three and zero in district, uh, and you were up forty eight nothing at halftime and able to coast. And now you get this ball game coming up against Elysian Fields, a showdown for first place. Tell me what you know about them. Uh, I know they're very good. They're experienced. They're athletic. Uh, they're well coached. They uh, they're explosive on offense. You know, they're not the you're not going to catch them in the same formation twice, generally. They move around quite a bit. Uh, the quarterback is what makes them go. He's uh, he's fast, he's smart, he's extremely accurate throwing the football. And he's able to make big plays uh, somewhere throughout the drive that causes them to score, whether with his feet or with his arm, either one. Uh, he, he's the most dangerous person on the field as far, as far as they go. So what do you consider to be the key matchups in this game then? I think we have to take away the, the big play. Uh, they'll catch you off guard catch you misaligned uh, by motioning and lining up in certain formations. And if we can limit uh, those chances that when they try to stretch the field and, and, and look for that big play, then we'll have a good good shot at them. Now, how do you match up with them speed-wise? They're faster than us. Uh, now, we still have some speed in, in spots, but they are, you know, overall, uh, their five kids that they're going to put on the field offensively are faster than, than our five or four DBs, I, I should say. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're not slow by any stretch of the imagination, sure. but they do have some guys that can run. So biggest game of the year, I guess, so far. So far, yeah. Yeah, that's what I told the kids yesterday. It's the this game is no bigger than the, and we're actually seven and zero. I don't. I don't mean no, I'm sorry, said, no, that's great. Thank you. No, four zero in district. Okay, but uh, this game is no bigger than the previous six or seven we played. However, it has bigger implications. You know, it, it solidifies a playoff spot for us. 
Uh, it makes for our 15th district row, uh, d- district win in a row. Wow. Uh, which we hadn't lost a game in two and a half years, roughly, in district. And uh, and it, it puts us closer to district championship, which is what we're chasing. Your kids must be playing with an awful lot of confidence then with that kind of a winning streak. Well, I, you, that, there's a fine line between that confident and cocky. And I think we're on the good side of it. We're on the confident side, just like you said. Well, it's a very impressive uh, run so far, Coach, and we do appreciate you talking to us. We wish you best of the luck uh, when you play Elysian Fields on Friday night. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Good talking to you. That's Coach Chris Edwards from Hughes Springs on Brian Houston Sports Radio Live on 99.3 Talk FM.